Remnant 2. Uh, <laughs> Annihilation. Really excited to hear this music. It sounds like the original PlayStation opening screen. And what's really interesting to me is that I'm pretty sure this is the final boss of Remnant 2. Right off the bat, we get that semblance of ambience mixed with, with like a feeling of portraying a character, right? And that's really what ambient music is. Ambient music is portraying a circumstance, portraying a situation. But melody is much more about a character, much more about usually us as players. So even right away, we get that creeping quality here of, of being kind of nervous. Mood. Big heavy brass in there. Do you like how the big heavy brass is like, what's up, bitch? We're here. You're going to get screwed. And there's this real sense of like trying to oppress you. The brass also makes us feel like we are this tall. Oh no, please don't hurt me. Right? Like that's the sound quality there. And that's what makes the brass so awesome. And also there's a subtle rhythmic intensity there. Ah, boom, bum, boom, bum, 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 which is going to make us feel like, oh my God, what am I, what am I going to do? I'm totally screwed here. Especially because this is the introduction. You're like, ah, oh, no, please. Please, ah, you're small, you know what I mean? Oh. Damn. That's really cool. <laughs> Imagine if that was all I said. Something really, really fun about that is, is, is just how connected we are to the instrumentation as a whole. First of all, we have a lot of doubling. Bum, bum, ba, da, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba. And then also, I'm sorry, but like this is one of the coolest things ever. Hold on, where is I think it's right here. Yeah. I don't think this is true voices because that would be really hard for opera singers or for cho a chorus of like 20 women to do. Ba, 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 ba. That's so inc impressive. The lower brass there really, again, we have the same oppressive feeling as we did in the intro, but it really like leans into that feeling of just being punched at all times. And then you add the chorus and it's uh, very clearly Carl or if Carmina Burana Big, heavy, dominant, forceful, strong, brutal. I just spit everywhere. So there's a real intensity in that. Chunk, chunk, chunk. That's such a funny. Ba -ba -ra -ba -ra -ba 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 -ba. And that's fun too because we get the ba ba ba. We get the big big freight, but then in between we're going bum 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 bum. And you get that slight synthesizer in there. That's really like, holy shit, holy shit. You're trying to run around, shoot. You got the thing, ah, ah. You're trying to dodge, you're trying to roll, you're trying to avoid the thing. It's huge, it's coming at you. I'm assuming it's this woman with the half halo, like attacking you and you're just trying to dodge. But I, I love that we get the constant sense of forward propulsion mixed with these big fat brass sections.
And in a way, it's, there's a real tribal essence to that. I also like that we're getting the big trombones and the, the big brass element, but then we also get in, in between those, that's actually where it's more interesting because you're also getting the trumpets in there. And obviously the chorus is also helping to double that large brass section. But the, um, yeah, it's, it's I mean, it's, oh, this is one of those pieces it's really hard to talk about because I'm enjoying it so much. You hear the trumpets in there and they get the strings as well. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Interesting synthesized quality back there. Oh my god, it's so hard to talk about. It's like sick. That transition is so clean. And what makes it really impressive is that it actually changes meter and it changes instrumentation. Right around the middle of the transition there, it just switches. Rob did a really good job of, of indicating on his video where the different phase structure is. So it's really interesting to listen to how Rob plays with the changes in, in the meter. This clearly requires the context and like the actual boss battle. So it's interesting because if I were to talk to a classical musician that maybe doesn't live in the world of video game music like I do, I think that they would listen to this and be like, this sounds like Carl Orff, Carmina Burana, like that's what it is. And to me, I think it's the evolution of that. Like I think it's like, it takes the things that were really amazing in the mid 19th, 20th century and just twists them and makes them their own and like adds synthetic elements and makes it really interesting. But somebody else might be like, oh, well, that's just sort of copying something. To me, this is like so hardcore. It's really impressive. It's really hard to talk about the instrumentation because it's so stacked layer wise there's so much going on in here and i like that now we're in this new synthesized sound quality too cha bum ba cha so heroic man there's so much going on in here guys it's really hard to talk about because it's just so so full layering wise from top to bottom this is really dense what I, I find really interesting is that now we're getting a bit of a heroic thing almost like the tide is turning slightly but what's really exciting is is, is just the 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 little rhythmic gestures in here that that really make it interesting like that's so cool Little bit of tension in there. Ah, turn the dial. Oh, what? Wow. The synthesizer thing is really dominant here. And then the mixture of electric guitar with the classical elements in the background, it's crazy.
climb higher and higher. Unison, unison. What I love about that section, this is becoming more of a listen along because at this point it's like, so I, I'm, I'm really like immersed in it. It's like one of these things that kind of just takes you and it just like sends you off. It's relentlessly uh, driven. It is very intense. And what's really exciting to me is that phase two. So the phase one is really the oppression of seeing this giant being, but then phase two really becomes about our capacity to destroy it. Our capacity to stand on our own two feet and fight for, for it. And I also think there's a bit of a shame shifty element here that's occurring where it's not just us there's there's a degree of i'm going to win this and, and i think find that really interesting and now we pull all the way back it's like seeing heaven almost like the clouds part with these strings as we descend down there's a little bit of anticipation though because of the way that the strings are and then there's chorus again oh this really nice push and pull there. You hear how they does that? That push and pull is really smart. We're having a build up again though with the strings right here. Almost a religious quality, a holy quality almost. Dun dun chun dun chun 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 chun. And then that lower brass there. It's like seeing clearly for the first time. It's like emerging out, the sun is shining. You're suddenly aware of the circumstances of your life. Especially with this like... It's like twinkling almost. Heavy crunch. The strings there re-emphasize. That crunching is something something emerging forth, something not quite right. We're growing in intensity here again. Big swell. Wow. Yeah. Big. Bam. 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 That's really, really exciting. Cha. Swell, swell, swell. Increasing in intensity. It's like seeing God. Oh, that's tension. This is dangerous.
clouds are clearing again. It's called the end. But things are not as we think they are. You hear that creeping, more revving of the engine? Like everything is restoring. Beautiful vocals in here. Triumphant horns. And then the synth. And then the calm. The dust is falling down. Long sustained note as we end. Oh my God, that's impossible to analyze, guys. There is so much going on. Kudos to Rob. That is one of the densest tracks that I've heard in a long time. That's really hard to talk about. I, I have to get there. I have to play it. I have to go back and play Remnant 2. I have to see this in context. I have to hear it. This is larger than life. This is grandiose. This is gigantic. This is multiple phases. This is brutal. This is intense. This is almost oh too much. It's almost oppressive. That's really powerful stuff. And I would say that this is very much in line with, with Verity or with, you know, larger pieces. Uh, it really, it to me, really is this evolution of that Carl Orff, Carmina Burana soundscape. And I mean that in the most beautiful, complimentary way possible. Wow, that is so dense. And that deserves to be heard. That's really good. And it starts, I mean, it's just nonstop. Like I said, it's almost too intense for the ear because it's just like nonstop. Go, 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 go. And each phase is just builds, but man, there is so much intensity in here. I really enjoyed listening to that. Thank you to uh, to Patreon for for requesting this. That I gotta go drink some water. Uh, th thank you so much. I'll see you later.